Hello, Jesse here, and I'm just uh, creating a simple tutorial for you guys to follow along with if you're having difficulty getting uh, Scott Pilgrim working on your PC. So I have this folder called PS3, and we need the program PSN stuff, the PS3 firmware update, and I'm using the June 18th version of RPC S3. I will leave some links in the description. So we extract the emulator right here, or anywhere of your choosing. Then we need to open up PSN stuff, but there's a custom database file that I cannot link you to. You open up PSN stuff and you choose to load database, which will allow you to select this file. It's created by Slim Shady 451, so Google is your friend. So we type in Scott Pilgrim. We need to get all of these package files for the US and it can take a few moments depending on your internet connection. So this first file is just the demo. Without these other files, it would just register as a locked demo. So we're downloading the uh, DLC content right now. And you don't necessarily need to validate the packages. And here is the unlock file right here, which will make the game fully playable in its entirety. But for the DLC, we also need to download these wrap files. Now if you look at the game ID right here, you need to go to Game Updater and type it in right here. Hit Search. And this is the 101 update, and this is the 103 update. So we download these files. All right, so we are finished with this program. If you look in these folders, we have our download files for all the Scott Pilgrim packages. And I'm going to create a folder named Scott Pilgrim to put all of the packages in. Go back in here, go to EX Data. And you need to go to Dev HDD 0. Then Home. Then this folder, EX Data and then copy these wrap files in here. Back in here, grab the update packages, add these into the Scott Pilgrim folder, and then we start up the emulator. Do not show again. First we need to install the PS3 firmware. Don't show again. And then we start installing our Scott Pilgrim packages. First I install the raw game. Don't show again. Then we install the unlock file. 
followed by the 101 update. The Knives Chow add-on. Wallace. And then the 103 package. All right, so then we go to Config, Settings. I strongly recommend selecting LLVM for the PPU decoder, but for the video, I'm gonna keep it on fast. The loading times will be longer, but the first time you load up this LLVM, it'll take about 10 minutes to cache up all the files it needs. OpenGL, you can choose 1080p. For input, I am using X input. I have wireless Xbox 360 controllers with a USB adapter. Now we should be able to boot up this game. And there you have it, the full game also features the battle royale and dodgeball modes. Obviously netplay does not work, but you can go to story mode. I've tested it with up to three players, I'm pretty sure that four works. But you can press the A button on your second controller or X if you're using a DualShock. Select the guest account. And there we have two players. And I swear to you, changing that PPU decoder to LLVM significantly improves the loading times, like we would have already been playing the game. A few more seconds. And there we go. I apologize if it looks like it's glitching out, but again, it's because I did not choose that PPU decoder. But it does take quite a little bit to get going. Once it does, it's totally worth it. If you have any other questions or concerns, or you still can't get it to work right, just leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching.